If you're looking for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products, you need to go to ashkicking.com. Now we are now we're running. By round four, four I was over here. What's going on, John? What? <laughs> uh, oh, you gotta, you gotta get swabbed up. You yeah. want me to get the makeup artist over here? I do need. <laughs> Don't put you. All right, where? Oh, come on, man! As soon as you say that, you end up becoming a star, man. All right, so Mister, we got Smitty over here. We just covered the fight. First things first, let me get your reaction to Chavez. Canelo versus Chavez, your reaction? Well, Canelo did what he, what he had to do. Uh, great utilization of his left jab, his uppercuts. Uh, but he was fighting a guy that I don't, I don't think really was here to necessarily win the fight. Um, Chavez Jr. appeared to me to be more in survival mode than anything else. Uh, so it was a good performance for Canelo leading up to what we now know is going to take place in September, and that's the much-anticipated mega fight uh, with Triple G. So I really look forward to that. But, you know, Canelo did what he had to do. The only thing he could have done maybe more impressively would have been to uh, get a stoppage, but it's tough against a real big guy who's not cooperating. Yeah, and trying to play it safe, because that's what he was trying to do. He was planning not to get knocked out, so that's the main thing he was focusing on. Yeah, right? it's, you know, it's really difficult, and he, and he to Chavez Jr.'s credit, uh, he did some subtle things in there, little movements that enabled him to not get hit with the third and fourth com combination, and thus... And thus, he was able to, you know, to to take it the uh, the distance. And uh, but but again, for Canelo, the bottom line, it's all about Canelo, and he looked great. And uh, so now we get the big fight. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo!